This is Keith from Wink Sound, and in this video I'm going to talk about phasing. Now phasing occurs when there's a time delay between two or more waveforms, and this can drastically change the harmonic content of your recorded material, as well as the reason why engineers use the 3 to 1 rule in the studio. Now an example of this is let's say you're recording a violinist, and you're using two microphones that are different distances apart, such that when you do record, it doesn't sound as full, and possibly all the frequencies aren't present. Now, if you take those two microphones and compare it to if, when they're beside one another, equal distance from that violinist. Now it sounds more in the foreground, it maybe sounds more clear, there's not a whooshing effect anymore. I would probably conclude that you're encountering phasing before, which you generally don't want when you're engineering a session. And to demonstrate this, I have two identical audio tracks right on top of one another. And basically I'm just going to take one of those reasons and shift it over by a measure of samples and you'll be able to hear phasing occur pretty quickly. So here's just the audio. Here's by five. Now fifty. And here's a hundred. So as you can tell, phasing can drastically change your recording. So make sure to keep that in mind for your next session. And once again, my name is Keith, so keep on mixing, producing, performing, writing, whatever it is you love to do. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. Yeah.